The previous segment reviewed how to find out which IP address was assigned to the printer. This address was assigned automatically. There are two things we need to do with the IP address settings. First, keep the system from changing the address. If the address changes, the application won't be able to print to the device. Second, keep the system from creating a conflict by giving the IP address set aside for the printer to some other device on the network. Call your network technician to find out what addresses are already being used on your network for other computers. A network tech can also program your router so it cannot create a conflict by giving the printer address to another device. To keep your network from changing the address given to the printer, we can use an iPad or a computer. Open a browser window on the device you are using. On the iPad, look for the Safari application. On your computer, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Mozilla Firefox are all browser programs that will work. In the address bar of the browser window, type the IP address from your printout and hit the Enter key. In the navigation bar on the left side of the screen, find the Configuration heading. Look for the TCP IP link below it. Click on the TCP IP link. The TCP IP setting page for this printer will now show on the screen. To keep the system from changing the printer's address, change the Get IP Address setting from Auto to Manual. Click on the drop-down list and then click on Manual Selection. This screen is also where you can assign the printer an address that you have determined with your network technician will not conflict with any other devices already on your system. When you know what address is safe to assign, change the last box in the IP address line on the screen. For our example, we will demonstrate changing the number in our last box to 228. Our network technicians have confirmed this address is both available, so it does not conflict with another device already on the network, and protected, so it can't be given to another device. It is recommended practice to write the IP address showing on the screen onto a label and stick it to the printer. If your network technician changes the address, create a new label. On the computer screen, look for the Submit button and click it. The next screen will say that the configuration is complete. Now we must enable these changes on the printer itself. Click on the Reset button on the screen to enable the changes to the printer. Wait for the printer to respond. This may take just a minute, so please be patient. It will make a noise when it has processed the reset request. If the printer does not respond to the reset command, then turn the printer off and back on. Next, confirm the printer IP address was changed. Press down the reset button, like we did before, to make it print off its current settings. Using a pen, hold down the reset button until the printer starts printing. Once it starts, let go of the reset button. Confirm the IP address is the same address that you wrote and placed onto the label of the printer. If they don't match, repeat the steps again in this segment or call LaVue Customer Care at 855-528-8457. The next segment will show you how to configure your Lavu account to use the Epson U220B as a kitchen printer.